Hi, it's Trixie Mattel using the Pure Barbie Collection. Hi, it's me, Trixie Mattel, and if you're new here, I'm a world-famous drag queen with a passion for makeup artistry and also hoarding. Even when I was on a shoestring budget as a drag queen, if there was a makeup collection that spoke to me, I found a way to get all of it. And of course, when Pure released their Barbie collection this month, pretty much everybody on earth was tagging me to try this collection. And let me just say this. If a Barbie thing happens, I already know about it. 50 texts being like, do you know about this? I'm like, of course I know about this. You think I'm brand new? So just to go through the collection, it's a lot of stuff. It's shadows, it's a setting spray, lashes. There's lipsticks, lip glosses, body powder, mascara and primer, blush palette, a highlighter, skincare, a cookie brush. <laughs> and there's brushes. I did get the entire collection and I'll tell you what, I accidentally ordered two. So we're gonna give some away. We'll talk about it at the end. So I'm gonna go shave, cause look at, did you guys know that I'm male? That is a human male. Look at that, look at the material. So I'm gonna shave and I'm gonna cover my eyebrows and I'm gonna be right back. All right, we are covered. So before we start the eyeshadow, I'm gonna do just some foundation because uh, I think it'll help everything stick. So don't mind me. You guys, super stay. Drugstore foundation, full. I think you could cover tattoos with this stuff. It's amazing. It's amazing. Makes me think of when I tour Brazil and people are like, Trixie and Kaj. They don't, Kaj, Kaj. Look at that. I mean, I feel like every video we talk about, but I just love this foundation. Just look at it. Not to mention, that's another thing. Drugstore foundations aren't always in glass. We got glass. I kind of forgot, but let's do the, the moisturizer here. A dreamy gel to water hydrating moisturizer. Let's do a little bit where I just shaved. I just want to smell it. Ooh, it's very, uh, very sugary smelling today. Um, not too bad though. I like it, not to be like a, an elderly Caucasian woman, but I love these little like travel size items for when I'm trying to go somewhere. I love that. Let's get into these eyes, sis. We have the Pure and Barbie Endless Possibilities 2 palette. Let's get into it. Let's see, I like the packaging. I do, I really do. Oh, let's keep it simple. I mean, there's, they're very, very pretty. I mean, very pretty neutrals, very pretty metallics, a lot of mattes. Honestly, this is kind of all matching my vibe, which is bright packaging with boring colors. I love boring colors. Let's get into the brushes, a five piece collection. I think I bought three because I thought they were all different and they're not. Pretty cute, right? Okay, something's happening. <gasps> the brushes have bows. I am gay for that. I am very gay for that. I'm just doing some black to start my liner. They even, sure. You know what, it's good enough. I like the brush so far, synthetic. I like the handle. I will say for an angle brush, it's very pointy. Let's start with some brows. I mean, I normally don't start with the brows, but let's just, I'm gonna use Career Doll. <gasps> the shade names, you guys, Career Doll, Icon, Innovator. <laughs> Did they make this about me? Can I set this here? No, I can't, I can't. I have to have the mirror here, okay? I know we're supposed to be doing a video, but I have to be able to like see this here. It's a little orangey, but let's just use it. In drag, I really don't mind like a really warm brow shades. I'm fine with it. Very good, very nice, not very matte. I, I can sense already that this is one of those palettes where the mattes are satins. A lot of like neutrally palettes like this, they make it like very user friendly. And I think if you're an average person wearing these kind of colors on a daily basis, you don't really want a matte, you want like a satin. A matte shadow takes a little more finesse. So I get it. I'm not mad, just disappointed. I'm not disappointed, but hello. Oh, did I snap? This this brow is a little low compared to what I normally do. I but I'm I'm not used to doing brows first, so we'll see. We'll just see about that. Do you guys have anything from Pure that you like? I have only ever tried the concealer, which I did like. I did. I'm gonna do some concealer around the brows. I gotta get one. I gotta get one. I know what you're thinking, editor. Why don't you grab the products before you sit down? Because I don't think about it, okay? I got my little shape tape and my little uh, Kim the most concealer. I'm just kind of mixing the lightest color of each to make a, a highlight color. Now we're talking absolutely wonderful. Do you guys ever listen to me do my Australian accent and go like, I can't believe she's not just a professional voice actor because it's so good. The brows are a little thin. I don't normally do this thin of brows, but we'll see what happens. Okay. Okay, okay. Even though if I'm not filming, you guys know I talk to myself this much getting ready. Like I'm alone being like, does that look right? No answer, no one in the room. We'll start to build some shadow with this. I kind of want to use these like rosy kind of colors, but I don't know. 
That's like shimmer. Do you see how streaky that is? Oh, it, it like came back off and went on my finger again. I really wanted to like this palette and now I'm gonna hate it. Oh, I'm gonna hate it. But like I said, if you're a normal person, I think, you know, medium coverage satin finish eyeshadows, I mean like throw it on and go, I understand. I understand that I'm a 31 year old cross dresser who has unique needs when it comes to cosmetics. I understand. I think I might use the browns. Are you guys mad if I stick to the browns? The, oh, oh, the blue's pretty, but I can't use a blue shimmer on my situation. You guys, these are gonna be bad. I think these are gonna be bad. We're gonna do like th this. It doesn't look like it's gonna be easy to work with, but let's just do it. Not a lot of pigmentation, folks. Not a lot of pigmentation. What is this called? Trendsetter. Hmm. Interesting name, because I don't think shitty eyeshadows are ever gonna be trending. I mean, it's not shitty. It's not shitty. That's it. That's, it's just not happening. I don't know about you guys. I want to put on eyeshadow and go like, yes. And right now I'm going, let's just keep going. Isn't that the worst in makeup when you hate one eye and you're like, well, we're already in this. So we have to keep going. I'm going to switch to that fluffier brush. I do think they did a really beautiful job on these brushes. These little bows are really, really cute. Let's add some depth here. I think this is Dream Doll, this deep burgundy. Let's get into it. Dream Doll. Um, it's serviceable. It's serviceable. Let's just keep going. If you guys don't know, if you've never seen me do this, I like to like re-wet underneath my eyes before I dull my under eye shadow because it helps me personally with fallout for the shadow, the foundation to be like wet. I'm 31. You guys ever get into singing? I get into singing. Let's go with the deep burgundy and I'm gonna start to kind of do my thing, which I don't know. Not much fallout, but not much pigmentation. Does that make sense? It, it is sticking, it's just not looking like anything. I'm gonna go with this deep color, this timeless, this deep brown, and I'm gonna use that deep brown to wrap around the ends here. And then I'm gonna go back in with the burgundy and, and sop it up. It's not right, but it's okay. Ask any gay guy, say those words to him in succession. It's not right, but it's okay. He'll be like, I'm gonna make it anyway. I hate using this word for makeup, but it's serviceable. Could I go on stage with this eyeshadow? Of course I could because I have that level of confidence. But does it look good? No. You know what I feel like putting this makeup on? It's a Barbie collection, I'm so excited. And Pure is like, is that something you want? Well, let me tell you, you're never gonna get it. The top of it is so like patchy. I don't live. Don't get me wrong, neutrals do not bother me. The palette like this is absolutely fine. But I need these neutrals to do more than they're doing. In the monitor, they look fine. But in person, you guys, they just aren't. Oh, they're just uneven. Like they're not even similar on each side. I'm gonna do what I do with every shadow look I'm not happy with. I just keep going darker until it's like a smoky eye because it's not happening. I'm gonna go in and do the rest of my skin, you know, like my concealer and all that, that you guys have seen that before and I'll be right back. All right, so we're back and we have some skin on here. I feel like on this channel, we never really get to do mascara because I usually have this much eyeliner on and then I'm putting on black mascara. And even if you're like, Magnifying glass, you can't see anything. So let's just do it like for real, for real today. I got the Pure and Barbie Fully Charged Primer and the Fully Charged Mascara. So you know what? Let's do it. You guys, I never curl my lashes because I wear such big lashes. Like who cares, who can tell? My lashes are so big, they don't have to be curled. They just have to be black. See, like that did nothing. I don't think my lashes curl. Let's use the primer. I've never been a huge fan of lash primers. I don't know. I don't always feel like they do anything. Let's, let's trust the process. Having a primer is good if you get stuck with a mascara you just don't like, but you don't want to throw it away. Oh yes, white lashes, hello. So then we're gonna try this fully charged mascara. This packaging reminds me of Lights Camera Lashes from Tarte, which is my personal all-time favorite mascara. Let's get in here and see what the tea is. Okay, very good, very good. I mean, it's happening. Those are eyelashes. I've never had the best eyelashes. Um, I'm half Native American and people who are Native American just have like stick straight eyelashes usually. I also have pretty long lashes, so I like something that builds. I will say these are definitely building nicely. I'm not a huge fan of these, I'm gonna be honest. Th these don't impress me currently. Anybody else, whenever you use a lash curler, I feel like I always say like a prayer, like something bad's gonna happen, I'm losing all my lashes. <laughs> Like working in makeup, I would hear stories of people like they're, well, my, my husband kicked open the bathroom door and tore out all my eyelashes. And I'd be like, what? I have in my life sold eyelashes to a girl who had no eyelashes because she ripped them out using a lash curler. So yes, it does happen. I mean, I don't hate it. I really don't hate it. I, I, I mean, for two steps, the before and after is a little 
Like, I don't, I don't think that person, that seems like a lie. Let's just do one more coat. Let's just go for it. Okay, that side looks a lot better, doesn't it? Maybe it's just user error. Honestly, for mascaras, I always just feel like I have to try it. Try it alone, try it with a primer, try it with one coat, try it with 10 coats. Upon first application, I wouldn't say I'm living, but I like it, it's not the worst. Okay, so I'm back. I did some white liner, some black liner. I put some lashes on, but there is some lovely lashes from Pure to get into. This is the uh, Barbie doll lash, signature cruelty-free pro eyelash collection. There's two sizes here. There's like a small and a large. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a glue even. I might have to try the glue, folks. It's a little long for me, so I'm gonna have to trim it. I'm gonna trim it to there. Oh yeah. I've been using Duo forever. I'm always very uncertain about different glues, but let's just try it. Okay, very good, very good. It's a very clear, I like a, a glue that is about clear blue, almost iridescent, because usually that has a good stick to it. Anything too white and gloppy, I can't really get into. <laughs> That's why I can't stand the way I look naked. Aww. Look at the material. I mean, I did it. You guys are so lucky that I'm here and I'm a professional. So let's do the other one too. These are nice. I mean, they're very simple lashes but you know lashes. If you're a lash person, you know that there's always somewhere to get really cheap, good lashes. But the presentation's not as nice. Like this feels more like a fancy gift. I love a brush applicator on a, on a glue. I hate having to squirt it out. <laughs> Has a very immediate grab to it, the glue. It dries very quickly. We got a lot left here, so let's just get into it. I got a brush. They call it the Pure and Barbie Keepsake Kabuki brush. Look at the tip. I'll use this at the end for like a setting dusting, but um, for now, I think we need to do blush. Let's get into it. This is the Pure and Barbie Malibu Blush Set. The shades are Wish, Sweet Dreams, Malibu, Believe, California Dreams, and Boss. Girl Boss, Boss Girl Slaying. Ooh, okay. 43 shades of mauve and beige. That is my vibe. We're being unfair. This is like a bright coral. This is an orange, this is a plum. This is sort of an orgasm color. This is like a, like a, like, I'm into this. I'm actually gonna contour a little further with this deep one to start. Oh, yes. I love doing just in the pockets of my cheeks, like a red, like a red purple. Like, look at that compared to that. Pure, you are coming through, you ho. Like, I wanna take this in my forehead. Oh, I'm, now I wanna do like a pop of blush. I know Bobby Brown doesn't watch this, but I love the Bobby Brown look. Pop of color on the cheek, clean skin, clean brows. That is my vibe. I wanna try this lovely, this like bright tangerine pink. Isn't that beautiful? Maybe it's because there's a pink background. These look really neutral, but these are brighter in real life. Oh, oh this is happening. I could see myself taking this on tour. Like I could do different cheeks every day with this. Oh, oh. I wonder if my neighbors sometimes are like, she's trying blush. She's trying blush, she's fine. Nobody is able to have a discussion with me ever again. This is a beautiful product. This formula is very soft, very blendy. Even on deep skin, I could see maybe some of these washing out a little, like that, these middle ones on deep skin, I don't see that working, but this, this is this is beautiful. I will actually be using this again. Oh, we have another cheek product, so I think we should do it. The Pure and Barbie Confident Glow Signature Illuminating Highlighter. A pink taffy and bubbly. Ooh, that rose gold is very nice. Just like that on the lids and on the lip, like on the chin. Uh, I'm, I'm gay. I know that I'm gay. This is kind of a big highlighter brush, but whatever, I'm gonna use one of these brushes. Oh, it's very yellow. Okay, the yellow is very yellow. Is the pink very pink? Okay, it's almost a blush. Oh, wow. I ruined that. I'm just gonna do just a little bit. Oh, I'm kind of living. <laughs> You know how sometimes with highlighters, you don't think you see much and then you go to put your compact down and you like pivot and the light hits it different and you're like, that's nice. I'm always interested in more of a glow than a shine when it comes to highlighter. I don't want the whole texture of the skin to be different. I just want the light to behave differently on that area if and when it hits it. Let's do a little more. I just want to push it. Oh, absolute. Okay. That is beautiful, that is beautiful. Almost like a broken glass look, like like crystallized, but I didn't die. <gasps> Isn't this pretty? I think this is pretty. These cheek products are beautiful. 
beautiful. Let's look at the lipsticks I got because I got a bunch. CEO, Innovator, and Trailblazer, of which I am all three. Oh, the packaging is very cute. This mechanism, you see that? Hank and Henry did like a, a love collection, I forget what it was called from this year, and they had these push to release style things. Okay, mine came smashed. That's okay, things happen. This is the shade, pretty deep. Let's see what Trailblazer looks like. This one's supposed to be a light pink. This doesn't look pink to me. A neutral, okay, this is nice. Not much of a smell, I almost stuck that up my nose. And let's see what CEO looks like. This is a red, which by the way, around the time this video comes out, we should be restocking red scare in January, so look for that. Ooh, oh, that is so pretty. It's like glowing, kind of like neon red almost. Do I dare? No, I'm not a red lipstick person, I can't. Do it. Keep it simple, let's do the nude. Cause I think I'm gonna wear a pink outfit. So I'm gonna do the, the, the neutral lipstick. So I don't have any liners from Pure. So I'm just gonna use Maybelline Color Sensational Lip Liner in Magnetic Mauve. I think we used this in the Maybelline video. I think we lived. I do live, that is pretty. If you don't have like a bruisey purple brown lip liner, you're, you need to change your own life. Are they symmetrical? Absolutely not. Does it matter? It does matter a little bit. Uh, let's do Trailblazer. <gasps> You knew I was gonna love that. You know I'm I'm so basic, you guys. This is so beautiful. Mm. If you've ever worn one of those lipsticks that brags that the base is like a clay, this feels like clay. Not in a bad way, not in a bad way. <gasps> I love this lipstick. This is like really cool. In real life, it looks almost purple. And imagine on deep skin with like a dark liner for like a really matte nude. Oh my God. Honestly, that is beautiful. The other two look nice too though. That is pretty. Let's just do a little bit of this on it, just to like, on the edges. See, like, that's kind of nice. I like these, these are beautiful. And that red, girl, that red did something to me. All right, let's do a gloss, cause I got some glosses, sis. I picked out two. Oh, okay, this is called Boss Gloss. Again, I can't help but imagine this on like deep skin. Oh my God, give me a heart attack. This one's called Girl Gloss. <gasps> How much pigmentation is in this? Let's see. Oh, oh, something fun has happened. Look, I'm gonna show you guys, look. You push the button and it pops open. I've never seen that in all my life. Ooh, this is yellow. I have to put this on. This looks fun. Oh. It smells like, kind of like caramel. I think it smells like caramel. Oh. <gasps> It has a very soft sheen to it, like a, a little bit of a sparkle. Yellow glosses are great because they just, to me, they cut the deeper, cooler tones in your lips. You guys, I feel beautiful. We're not done yet, so let's keep going. I'm gonna get like a setting powder because I wanna use my brush. Lately, I've been really into these. This is the Juno and Company. This one's called Juno Blur. It's just like a blur powder, but I just wanna see how this works. Do you think if I stamp it, I'm gonna see the Barbie head? We don't, we don't see the Barbie head, that's okay. This is a synthetic, they call these like an airbrush brush where it's like the dual fiber tip. These were really popular once upon a time, these type of brushes. I don't think people really use these much anymore. It's very soft, it has a lot of density. Like I could see myself using this for like liquid foundation. It's heavy, this is a heavy brush. But it did not come in the set, this was extra. Will I keep it in here? Absolutely. I could see myself bringing this to set. Like this is enough brushes to touch up in the middle of the day for me. God, I like that highlighter though. That is really the star. This is the Pure Barbie Lit Mist Signature Illuminating Setting Spray. I'm a little nervous about this because with the amount of makeup I wear as a cross dresser, I don't want like a dewy finish, but I wanna try it for you guys. So let's just do it. <gasps> Look at the bottle. Hello? Oh, you have to twist it. Oh, there we go. Let's, let's try it, let's just try it. Pretty loud, do you guys hear that? I mean, it feels fancy. Like I would leave this sitting out in a pink bathroom for sure. I, I mean, I like it. For drag, I'm not gonna grab a setting spray that leaves me looking dewy or illuminated. I want like matte pretty much, but it's, it's nice. It's cute, look at it, it's very cute. I'm gonna put on a look, we have one more product and I will be right back. And we have returned with the final look using the Pure Barbie collection. Now, we have one product left we didn't try. This is the, ooh, I feel like, I feel like a real beauty YouTuber with these nails. 
Pure Barbie Forever Glow Signature Illuminating Scented Body Powder with Applicator Puff. We'll just see about that. The puff is very cute. Urban Decay used to make a product like this that was like honey scented body powder. If anybody's tried it, it actually smelled like cat pee. Okay, there's a little applicator that says never lose your sparkle. Aw, but read it in like a Southern mom voice. Okay, huh, never lose your sparkle. I can't, I can't even. How do people with nails do anything? Oh, look, the sifter's a Barbie shape. Oh. 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 I mean, that, it's really sparkly, you guys. Whatever, I mean, I don't need, I don't need full body shine. I don't really relate to that. Let's do the chest, though. Do you guys mind if I get vulnerable? Do you mind if I just unbutton my blouse a little bit? Like, okay, you know what? On the chest, I do kind of like it. You know what I would do? This would be one of those products I would put on and then nobody would notice, but because I have it on, I would feel different. I mean, that actually looks kind of good on the chest, don't you think? Do I take it back? I think I take it back. What I do like about this collection, if it's a Barbie collection, I like that it's mostly neutrals because as like a Barbie worshiper, most decades, Barbie's wearing just like, she just has eyelashes and like some cheek color. So I'm not gonna lie, I feel gorgeous. But let's just go through the look because there was some struggles. Starting off with Queen of the Struggle Bus herself, the Endless Possibilities palette of everything here, this is the only thing that I really will not use this again because these shadows did not do anything close to what I wanted them to do. The coverage wasn't great. Even the mattes had like a shine to them. I mean, you can still see. This is not as blended as I think my makeup normally is. I could be wrong. Please let me know in the comments. You're like, actually, you always look horrible. You know what? It wasn't for me, but if you were a normal human, probably wearing makeup in a normal God honoring way, you might really love it. Based on everything else here being great, I think maybe this just wasn't my style. The four in one cloud cream gel to water, that felt really good, smelled good. The brushes, you guys, I think we lived. A five piece brush set with a little holder. These are really nice, I, I stand, I have no choice but to stand. I'm ready to go there, America. This blush palette, the Malibu blush palette, sis, I lit, did I call it Malibu? Sorry, I'm accidentally plugging my own product. <laughs> This blush palette is so pretty. I used two of the colors. Good job, Pure. This is nice. We have no choice but to stand. This Confident Glow Powder, girl, this is beautiful. Look at that. Stunning. I think this is so pretty. And because it's like a gold and a rose gold, I could see this working on really any skin tone. Because of the way it's pressed in there, this is really something you'd want to feel like, I have this from this collection. If you can get this, Get it. This kabuki brush is fine. I mean, it's extremely cute. Like, like if I had a, a party and I had people over, these brushes might be the ones that I like leave out. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, this is my station. Everything's pink. Blah. You know, is that gay? That's probably gay. The body powder. Listen, I didn't expect to like this, but I think this is really pretty. Look at my hands. Don't this look nice and soft? I think that looks nice, right? It smells good. And let's be honest, don't you just feel like a woman? Imagine you in like a camisole sitting in your house with that on your shoulders, like mm. The setting spray, I think this is really pretty. The bottle, being able to do setting spray like this. The lipsticks, all three of them. Trailblazer, CEO, and Innovator, they are beautiful. Both lip glosses. I didn't get to try this one on, but I'm assuming it's a similar quality. Let's just throw it on, let's just do it. Ooh. Honestly, that is beautiful. I'm not as paid spokeswoman for Pure. I'm gonna be honest, based on the eyeshadow palette, I thought this was all gonna flop, but a lot of these are really, really nice. I think both of these glosses are really nice. The mascaras, they grew on me as we built them. I'm not used to taking my time and like doing the curling and the priming and everything, but I thought they looked pretty good. I like that too, I like all of this. Oh, the lashes. I mean, I have the lashes on the bottom. They look pretty good, huh? The glue, I'll probably use this glue to the end. This is nice. Now, I know that these are pretty much sold out in stores already. I looked recently and I know that at my Ulta at least, they are gone. I have an entire other set of this collection, brand new in the box. And if you would like to win it, you have to be a subscriber of this channel, obviously. We put out new videos every single week. And comment below, I would like to win the contest. Literally just say something expressing that you wanna win and we'll pick a winner and I will personally ship this. I'll have my assistant ship this. 
to you. Look, all brand new. And some of this is really nice, you guys. Like, pure, final thoughts, girl, you've done it again. Constantly raising the bar for all of us and doing it flawlessly. I'd say I'm surprised, but I see you. Besides the eyeshadows, which I did not like for. This was all really beautiful packaging, quality. I love the names. Congratulations, Pure. These are really beautiful. Thank you for watching another video. I will see you next week. Goodbye.